The crypto market <laughs> doing well today, guys. We are up today. Nice green day. A broader crypto market up about 3%. BTC up at about 29.5. She being you at four zeros, one zero three. This is a great day. Okay? It's very nice to see, especially after what we saw yesterday. That flash crash definitely caused a bit of a stir in the market, a lot of uneasiness. People kind of unsure about how today was going to look, especially going into this report. Now, the reason that we're seeing some green today is because we got the GDP report back, got that back this morning. We expected a 2% increase as far as GDP goes, and we got about half, 1.1%. Now, you might say, you know, right, we only got half. Why is that a good thing? Well, what it shows is that the Fed's stance on inflation and slowing the economy is taking effect right now. The, inflate, the economy is, in fact, slowing down. In fact, what's funny is this 1.1% this was almost the original projection for this quarter. It was 1%, they raised it to 2 Now, this is going to play an immediate impact on what the Fed decides to do in a couple days at the FOMC meeting. We got one more report coming this month. We got the PCE report tomorrow, last inflation report of the month. I'm sure you guys are probably tired of me talking about inflation all the time, but obviously, it affects the price. Right now, it affects the Fed's stance. It affects what, what's going on. It affects everybody's sentiment, not just in crypto, but when it comes to the economy, when it comes to markets outside of crypto, it definitely plays a part. Now, this FOMC meeting could be the first time we've seen in a while that the Fed decides not to raise rates, all right? Think about that for just a second. We've had so many consistent rate hikes. Yes, they've been slowing down lately, but a stop in the rate hikes would be a very big deal to the market. And that's what the market is kind of anticipating right now. The economy is slowing at the rate that it is. They, everybody knows that the Fed can't push much harder because if they do, the likelihood of a recession continues to grow. We are very, very close to that at this point. You don't want to push too hard and basically stifle what the economy is doing. All right. Now, this PC report is going to be this final, final little element Okay, and if this comes back and shows that inflation is slowing at the rate that it needs to, the Fed is going to just cool it. They're going to chill. We're not going to get much. And I think that's an important point. That's why you're seeing the market doing what it's doing today. That's why you're seeing this green. That's why you're seeing Xi being you doing what it's doing right now. Now, Xi being you has had extreme strength, guys. Okay, you got to remember, despite all this stuff, Xi being you has set a very good floor. This four zeros one level is a, a range that it's very, very comfortable in. It doesn't like to go out of it. In fact, on the flash crash that we had, it, it dropped out of it for all of you know half an hour, 20 minutes. It was not very long at all. And that was because over 1 trillion SHIB was sold. And some people might think that 1 trillion SHIB is a lot, and it is, but compared to what is you know bought and sold on a daily basis compared to the supply, it's really not that much, okay? There is, there's a lot worse things that could be happening right now. So it seems like we're truly starting to head the right direction. And this is a positive sign for the broader crypto markets. Obviously, we'll see if this continues to be the trend as we get into that FOMC meeting in just a few days. But stay tuned, be prepared. And really, at this point, anything can happen. But appreciate you guys as always. Show your love below if you guys haven't already. But I hope you have a great rest of your day. And I hope to catch you guys in the next one. Take care.